it's me, the Grandma Quilter. And this is Quilting with Mrs. Quilty, the Unboxing Unboxed video. Hi, everybody. It's been a minute since I've been on here to talk to you all about Mrs. Quilty. Here in the back there somewhere. Hold on. Got to move her over here. There she goes. There she is. It's been a minute, and I need to apologize to all of you and give you a reason why. It's been a little, it's been a hard month, a lot of personal situations, a lot of things happening. Don't need to get into the details, but I have been having a little difficulty staying online, getting video and content out, but I have to do Mrs. Quilty because I love Mrs. Quilty, and I'm going to explain why. I had done a video already. But after I finished it and we went to edit to put it up, there was no audio. So that got me frustrated. And then other situations came to bear and I wasn't able to do the second video. So that's why you see the box unboxed. But there's things I want to talk about, especially with our Mrs. Quilty box. Ladies and gentlemen, quilters, beginners, I, I want to be very clear. I've been watching some videos of some people that are not uh, sponsored. Other people that have received sponsorships that have bigger channels than I do. And other people that have been offered sponsorships that decided against it. And that's great. When I accepted the sponsorship from Mrs. Quilty, I did it because I like the product. I really do. I started buying my own boxes of Mrs. Quilty prior to become sponsored. So I've been a Mrs. Quilty subscriber. That's in the past. Mrs. Quilty came to me and offered me the sponsorship. And I am a kind of person, and to the people that are been on my channel, all my friends, because I consider you all my friends, have seen that I'm very honest, very upfront, and very blunt. And I'm going to say it this way. People complain about the quality of the fabric. I am going to say this, and I'm going to say this. In this box, you receive, they've done some changes, and I understand the changes. Right now, before we were receiving two eight packs of fat quarters, and they were exactly the same. So you got 16 fat quarters. Two of two, exactly the same, of each pattern. They brought it down now to 12. But when you look at these 12, they all coordinate beautifully. And I can tell you that because I have made quilts and you can see that on my channel. Go look for the Mrs. Quilty um, tab and you can see the videos that I've made already. This fabric is freaking amazing. And I'm going to tell you why. It's affordable. There are a lot of people out there. And I'm going to say this outright. That if it's not quilt shop quality, will not buy fabric. Listen, if that's you, don't watch this. Because you're going to get mad at me. And I, I love Mrs. Quilty Fabric. I love the product. I think the boxes are freaking awesome. And it's amazing what they've tried to do and have accomplished. They've made a lot of changes. They listen to the consumer and they make the changes necessary. Instead of getting 16, eight exactly the same, you're getting 12 now and they're different. Look at that. I'm going to show you one by one how beautiful this fabric is. Look at the colors. Look at the print quality on this fabric. I have purchased or had been gifted. Let me put it back here so it focuses better. I have been gifted fabric in the past, very quilt shop quality fabric in the past that has frayed like crazy. This doesn't fray. It, I love this. This is going on the binding. Uh, this doesn't fray. It, it doesn't fray as much as other fabrics do. It is 100% cotton. I've done the test. But it has a softer feel to it. This is really pretty. 
polka dot, red polka dot on a blue background, and you have white, blue polka dots on a white background. And we have my favorite. I have a gingham collection. Blue and white gingham. It's really sweet. Then we, I love this fabric. It is so, so pretty. And let me tell you something. The camera doesn't do it justice. The blue is, is it such like, a, I don't know. I love this blue. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. This is sweet, especially as a blender. See if you can see it. It's little tiny polka dots. Each, each diagonal line is comprised of little tiny polka dots. I love this fabric. Really good as a blender. We have more polka dots here. White on blue background. Then we have this pretty floral. Now, this background is not white. It's like a very, very light blue. So it's really pretty. It, it just accentuates the, the print on it so well. We have this gorgeous butterflies. Look how pretty. This is precious. I can see just a little dainty little bag for a little girl. So cute. More gingham because you know me. I love my gingham. So what I want to make sure people understand, I think I have one more. I think I have one from the other box. Anyway, what I want people to understand is Mrs. Quilty, if you're looking for a quilt box with half rolls of two and a half inch strips. Instead of 40, you get only 20. Or you get two or three fat quarters. Or you get this amazing little pattern, just one little pattern. <clears throat> that'll use exactly the amount of strips you received in the box. That gives you more gadgets than fabric. Mrs. Quilty gives you in the box, it gives you those 12, 12 coordinating blocks. Um, uh, sorry, fat quarters. And then gives you the magazine. Now, before the magazine, they only gave you two patterns. Now they give you five. Let me see how many we have in this one. I love the pattern in here. Very simple. This is great for, for people that are just beginning. Let's see, let's see. Give me a second here. Trying. Yeah, see, the pink gingham is not from this box. It's from the other box because this is from a prior box. I just put it in here because, again, I opened the box, did the video, and then it was a mess. Okay, so we have here. It's all blues in this box. Okay, so we have one, two, three. We have four patterns. Now, the patterns in this booklet... I can show you here because there's nothing. The patterns in this booklet, as you can see, for a seasoned quilter, it's great practice. Really great practice. But for a beginner, it's better. Because not only are they giving you the fabric, they're giving you... I've already used it. I'm telling you, I opened this box. I used the pins. I don't have the pins because I used them already. So I'm not showing you the pins that came in the box. But look. They give you this ruler, people. This is a really cool ruler. Ruler, And if you see up here on the top, it's got the eighths. So if you have to cut one and two eighths or one and four, three, uh, five eighths, it's easy to see. It's very clear, but the lines are nice and accentuated. And for a beginner, it's perfect. I would have loved to have had a ruler like this when I started out. And it's a good acrylic. It's thick. It's not thin. Let me see if I can. There we go. See how thick it is? It's not the ones you buy on these other sites. It's a very good ruler. It's a very good ruler. So a lot of people, I, 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 there's one person in particular which annoyed me. If you're looking, again, I emphasize this. If you're, if you're the kind of person that can afford to buy quilt shop quality fabrics, I'm happy for you. I don't see the need for it. I use whatever I can get. And Mrs. Quilty Fabrics gives me quality that I can't get. But I've used fabric from a lot of other less expensive sites. Let's put it that way. But I love Mrs. Quilty because I've made, I've already made three or four quilts 
I made this. I'll show you this. Because I made this with Mrs. Quilty, starting off a pattern. And this is Mrs. Quilty fabric. It's a little kit, uh, a little box. Very easy little pattern. This is not a Mrs. Quilty pattern. This is my pattern that I found. But look how cute. The avocados. I love this bag. It's a cute little, it's great for biscuits, cookies when you're cooking. Really cute little bag. Carry a small casserole. But the fabric, look, the fabric to make this was so easy. I loved every second of it. It was fun. And it's pretty. It's really pretty fabric. It's great. The instructions have gotten so much better. And listen, their customer service is bar none the best out there. If you're having an issue with the product or the book, if there's something in the pattern, there's a Mrs. Quilty Facebook page that you can go to and they will answer any and every question you may have regarding anything about the box or the patterns in the booklet. Okay? The customer service, if there's something that you think can improve, you call their customer service, they listen. Because that's how I became a sponsor. I got sponsored because I had a complaint on one box. I canceled my membership and I sent them the reason why. And they came back to me. They improved the situation that I complained about. Literally, they improved it overnight. And they asked me to be sponsored by them, which means they valued my opinion. And I'm not a creator. I'm a very small creator. But they listened. And a lot of places don't. There are some places out there. I watch everybody. There are some creators that are having issues with some of the companies that sponsor them that have boxes. A lot of situations. I don't have that problem with Mrs. Quilty at all. And you won't have it either. Remember, if you're a beginning quilter, I urge you to start with Mrs. Quilty. They have a lot of things coming up. The booklet has changed their materials. They really address a lot of things that as a first quilter, you need to know. I wish I had known when I had started quilting. But now they even have this on this side. Let me show you here. Now, for every box, you're going to see, you're going to be going through three different, okay, stages. Beginner, intermediate, and, and um, professional. They give you patterns that will help you improve different skill sets. And that, as a quilter, when you when you really want to get into the quilting, that's the best thing you can do, is get different patterns that will help you improve a skill, a skill set, be it half square triangles, um, uh, pinwheels. Um, what else was it? There's a whole bunch of different things. Binding, which gave me so much trouble in the beginning. Sashing. I wish I could show you <laughs> the first quilt that I made with sashings. Ooh-wee. It was all over the place. I've improved a lot. And listening to a lot of the, the uh, advice in these, in these magazines. Applique. I'm still trying to dominate. There's a pattern in here that I can learn how to do simple applique, which is, I'm trying. I'm getting there. And that's what I mean. Straight line quilting. Uh, if you need to learn, come to Mrs. Quilty. That's how I'm going to say it. If you want to learn or you want to improve the skills you already have, come to Mrs. Quilty. For those that do have a stash, but want to learn a skill, don't want to touch that fabric, get into Mrs. Quilty. You can practice with this fabric. You're not going to want to let it go after you start practicing on it, but you can practice with a Mrs. Quilty fabric and get your skills perfected. And the good thing is, if there is some fabric in here that you really love and you want to buy more of, just go to the website and you can order by yardage, however you want. You can go to their website and order. So remember, Mrs. Quilty isn't for everybody. So become a Mrs. Quilty friend. Take care, everybody. Bye.